So when you, these are truly inverses of each other as the cosine or the secants just one over the cosine. So you, whenever you take the um, function of an inverse, you just get out whatever's inside. So you in this case, but let me prove it. So um, secants one over cosine, which is adjacent over, well, secants equal to hypotenuse over adjacent. So in this case, it's equal to um, u over one. So we have this one u and this is the square root of u squared minus one but that doesn't really matter because now we're going to take the cosine of the theta we got here so the cosine's equal to one over u hold on yeah that's right i was wrong um God, why did i even say that sorry it's not u um it's one over, so it's adjacent over hypotenuse. So in this case, it's just one over u. I'm sorry about that. I almost made a mistake. All right, so the final solution is one over u. All right, hope that helps for cosine of the inverse or the inverse secant of u.